Hello everybody. Today we will make training about the Gluten Washer system. Uh, we have two different kinds of Gluten Washer, 6000 model and 6100 model. And also we will uh, introduce our uh, two, 2100 Gluten Index and Gluten Dryer 2500 model. Uh, we will do the test together uh, for wheat flour. And I will explain firstly what is gluten. Gluten uh, consists of gliadin and uh, glutenin proteins. It is special protein for uh, wheat flour. It gives elasticity for the uh, bread and the bakery products. We can do the test together and I will show the differences of our products. Let's see, Mr. Mehmet. Uh, Again, moisture is important parameter today, and we know our moisture of flour, and we will enter moisture GR button in order to learn how many gram we will use sample. If our moisture is 14, we will use 10 gram, but our moisture is different than 14, so we will enter our moisture 13 point five. And machine says you should weigh 9.94 gram. Okay. Uh, you should take your sample homogeneously from different points, from five different points. We can take our sample. Okay. While we are doing test, I will introduce the functions of our buttons. Uh, we have differences than the basic model and the 6100 6, model has 27 function button. You can give ID, right ID and left ID if you are using different sample. It's including the printer. You can take out print. Firstly, we are adding a little bit water. Uh, otherwise, your sample goes through the sieve. This moisture will hold your sample inside of the gluten washer chamber. Now my friend weighing 9.94 gram sample. We are working as parallel. 6000 model has four function button, but uh, 6100 model has 27 function button. Wash mail, pause stop and start buttons. Also, it shows the uh, watch light and mix light during the process. But uh, in 6100 model, uh, you can change your watch time, you can change your mix time, and you can follow your steps from the LCD screen. Start, ready, stop. It gives warning alarm at the end of the test. Now we are Filling our washing chamber. We are shaking slightly in order to uh, make the smooth sample. We will add 4.8 milliliters salty water. If you are installing your machine, at first you should uh, work your machine as empty, without sample. Because your hose will be empty and you should fill it with the water, with the salty water, and then you can carry out your sample study. and pressing start machine do the test automatically 20 second mixing step now without water and after 20 seconds uh, it starts to take the water from a uh, water bowl automatically and wash five minutes depends on the country these times can be changed depends on the sample can be changed on this machine but uh, this model doesn't have this ability Now start to take water and it is cleaning from the starch. 
In the test, around 250-280 ml uh, water should be taken from this bowl. Uh, if your water is different than each other, you should check your hose and you should check your machine. Maybe there is a tear on the wa water hose. After test, uh, you should clean your machine and sometimes with the dirty material it is difficult to clean it after a few days or after a few weeks it is not possible to take out these materials. You shouldn't use uh, chemical materials or alcohol during the cleaning, just only you can use the water. These are plexiglass material, it can be broken if you use the alcohol or other materials. If there is some flower pot here, you can uh, add some water with pieces and you can remove them through the uh, sample. You should do that step uh, near to the end of the process. You shouldn't uh, affect your result at the first time. You can help the collection of samples. You can take average of the samples at the end of the test. There is average button here and you can do the test for meal samples. If you forget to make the test according to the moisture at the first time, and then you can calculate from here moisture GLT. It's calculating the result. Now you can follow your steps from the screen. It is a washing process and it's cal uh, calculating now 132. It is the uh, second. It shows the time. It shows the company name, day. You can give the ID, right ID and left ID. If you are using the meal sample, whole flour, you can use these sieves, gear sieves. It is 840 micron, and you should use this kind of pallets, metal pallets. There is a ring here, there is a line. You should use this one. Uh, you are starting your test like normal flour, but you should press meal button while you are, uh, you are using the meal sample uh, it is mixing 20 seconds and it is washing two minutes and then uh, after two minutes machine stops automatically and you should change your materials you should take your sample to this one uh, under the water under the water you can take them through to this one and then you can continue three minutes with this sieve and with this ring. After three minutes, machine stops automatically. For cleaning process, you can use this one. It is blade opener. If you wish to wash this one, you can open your blades with, like that. It's not necessary every time to take out this one. Now our test completed. It gives warning alarm. We are pressing stop and taking out our samples. It is wet gluten. Now we can see the uh, waters like that. These are equal. 
and it is around 250 it is acceptable You should check uh, if there is any other sample here, if there is any wet gluten here, you should check around the blade. Now we are uh, doing the, another second step of gluten index test. Purpose of this uh, test, moving the water and uh, calculating this strong and weak gluten amount. It is working 6000 RPM, you can see from the screen, it reached 6000 RPM according to the standards and test time is 60 seconds. It is silent machine. Important point, uh, you should put your samples in a balance. If you don't put the uh, sample, one of the cartridge, it makes lots of noise and it can be broken. Now it is running, showing on the screen. At the end of the test, it gives alarm. Test completed for index machine. Now it's a warning and there is security on the door. Uh, you cannot open without warning. Yes, now we will see the test results. You should check around the, this pulley if there is any sample here. Sometimes it is sticking. Here there is a sample, little pot. We are saying that this side is the weak gluten and this side is a strong gluten, strong wet gluten. We should remove at first the weak gluten, otherwise if you start to take this one, all sample will go this way. Calculation of the gluten index is the strong gluten and dividing total gluten and plus 100 in order to calculate percentage. This is a strong amount, 2.58 and now we are adding the weak amount, 2.73 is the total amount and we are calculating a strong value, a strong dividing the total amount and plus 100. Now we are checking the parallel side, this is the total one, 2.73. 73. As you see, our results are parallel and equal. It should be near to each other. Now we can uh, show the calculation. We can make the calculation uh, how many index. 2.66 uh, dividing 2.73 and plus uh, 100. Uh, our gluten index value is 97.4. It shows that it is really good and strong gluten. We can use that uh, sample for our uh, baklava, pasta, and good bread. Uh, you we can do the test also wash meal with this machine and that machine as well. It is including wash meal butter. But uh, differences than this one, uh, you cannot change the timing, washing time and mixing time in that machine and you cannot give the ID of the sample on that machine and it is not possible to take sample pre print out the results and it is not possible to uh, follow the steps on screen. In the past, people were doing the death test uh, by hand, but uh, it is not so stable result because temperature of your hand can be changed and uh, you cannot um, measure the water amount that you are using. So this machine makes your standard results. Some people are using metal sieve 
if you wish you can use that kind of sieve you can provide this one it is 90 micron uh, normally our polyester sieves are 88 micron during the preparation of this uh, sieve it should be smooth you should check like that Gluten value should be uh, around 80-90 for the baklava, for the pasta, for bread. But if you are using the uh, biscuit, you should uh, get the result around 20-25, uh, around like that. You can get lots of gluten, but it doesn't mean that you have the good gluten quality. Uh, amount is a parameter, but important parameter is the uh, strong of the leaks. If you have the good gluten index result, that means you have the good uh, gluten quality. The amount is not important every time. Water dry gluten machine gives information about the water absorption of your gluten. It gives an idea again the quality of your uh, flour. At the end of the test, our test of light will be on. You can see from here, and it is giving the warning alarm. Now, test of turn light is on. Now, our test is completed. Now, we can open. You can see the products. These are dry gluten materials. Enough. It should be cold, and then we will wait. Now it is okay, and we will multiply with ten in order to learn the how many gram we have. Uh, it is 9.4 our dry gluten results. Thanks for your attention and thanks for listening. See you again next week. Have a nice day.